One of the biggest battles from the Great War is about to take place. And as you can see, some of these soldiers already have shell shock. But you already guessed it, this is the Battle of the Somme. British High Command have decided to alleviate pressure from the French at the Battle of Verdun by instead attacking the Germans head on. Now even though the German positions have been getting bombarded day and night, they are still very happily dug into their trenches and they are going to be fighting to hold every last inch of territory against the British attackers. Now we have some German machine gun positions and you can see that they are pointing in this direction here and over on the other side they are going to be pointing in this direction here. Now that is so that they have an X-shaped crossfire pattern which means that they have all angles covered so when the British run down here they have nowhere to hide. Now the sneaky Brits have been hard at work digging away. They're trying to dig some lines underneath the trenches but the Germans have sent out their own sappers these guys are gonna hunt down the british engineers and we're gonna have a spade war on our hands now as for the german reserve trenches back here we have a bunch more german riflemen in the back line we of course have some medics and then up the top of the hill we have some german artillery as well as some more german machine gun positions and last but not least we have the german officer who i have got to say is looking pretty dapper here now as for the british we've already met our royal engineers over here. We also have some British artillery inbound here and this cheeky little fella back here is actually going to be firing gas canisters at the unsuspecting Germans. But the main bulk of the British attacking force here is just going to be riflemen and also trench raiders. It's also going to be a complete bloodbath. But what does totally accurate battle simulator think is going to happen in the World War I Battle of the Somme? Well let's find out in the trench raiders go and also let's Let's see this engineer battle here. Let's see, are the Royal Engineers going to get in? No, it looks like the sappers from the Germans actually got their dynamite down and it's about to blow up and it's gonna take the Royal Engineers with it. I stand corrected. The Royal Engineers actually stood up a little longer and it looks like the majority of the heavy machine guns for the Germans have gone down but their reserve trenches are now getting up into combat here. The medics are doing overtime trying to keep everyone alive and these secondary machine guns and also the German artillery and the incredibly dapper German officer are now about to make it up into the front line and it looks like the Brits are on their last legs but fortunately for them they do have some elite Scots guns snipers back here and these guys are going to be the last line of defense but rather than being taken captive by the Germans I have a feeling this fella right here is going to first take his own life in fact actually I tell a lie these two snipers at the back of the map are going to single-handedly win this for them. I have absolutely no idea how that has just happened. But remember, we are playing tabs and we're about to see some war crimes. Medics? I think not. Let's just gun them down. Gun down the medics, boys. There we go. And it looks like the Brits with these two Scots guard down the back have managed to actually win the Battle of the Somme and they only had to murder three medics to do it. The Geneva Convention? Never heard of it. Next up, we move over to the Battle of Verdun, where the Germans over here are in fact actually going to be defending against the French. You can see once again, the Germans are very much dug in. They've got their machine guns in their trenches, and they're going to be firing over the top and directly into the French attackers. We've also once again got a bunch more German riflemen, and if you thought the last guy had shell shock, take a look at this guy. Honestly, I think the only thing that's going to help this guy is a firing squad. Oh, hold on a second. He's stopped when I said firing squads. He's now willing to participate in the battle rather than be shot by his own friends. Once again, we have got the sappers. They're going to be running in directly into this French charge where we're going to have a little bit of melee combat. But that's actually not it for the Germans. If we take a sneak peek round here, they've actually got a spear mounted cavalry charge. Would you believe it? This is World War One, but the Germans are going to be throwing everything they've got into the Battle of Verdun. But just like the Germans had additional troops hidden in the back, we're also gonna see the exact same thing. The French have got even more soldiers. But once again, that is 
is not even it, and you're about to see some of the most cursed units in tabs you're ever gonna see. The French are going to be packing some World War One Air Force. Look at these World War One planes. Good God, what is that? I think this pilot is pregnant. And these cursed monstrosities in their biplanes are going to be the last wave of attack for the French Air Force in an attempt to win the Battle of Verdun and change the tides of World War One. Who's gonna win? I don't know, but let's find out. All right, let's see what these guys can do. Oh my God, the machine gun crossfire is complete brutality. And not only that, but the smoke has also gone in. We've got gas in the middle here and this entire first line of attacking waves for the French has gone down with that guy's dramatic drop to the floor. Bodies literally littering this battlefield here. And the last of the French front line goes down. Now the German cavalry is about to start making its way around the corner, making a big old charge into the French reinforcements, which you can see are in fact now beginning to enter the Battle of Verdun. Let's see what these guys can do against the Germans. There are a lot of Germans left and the French are really going to have their work cut out for them. Thankfully for the French, some of them appear to be taking some good cover behind these rocks, but it looks like the biplanes are in, and let's see how unbelievably cursed and horrible these units are. Okay, good job, lads. The biplanes appear to have all crashed into the exact same tree. Biplanes doing a little bit of damage, but look at this. We've got the German machine gunners all down the back line here, and it looks to me like these Germans with their medics have actually wiped out the rest of these French soldiers down here, so the battle of Verdun not going very well for the French. We do have one French right from and over here. And of course, the monstrosities are these World War I biplanes. What is happening to that guy? I don't know, but it looks like the Germans actually managed to win the Battle of Verdun with quite a lot of units left over, I should say. And even when the French had air superiority, although that being said, these guys did spend the majority of the battle in the tree. Just as well they got killed, otherwise they too would be getting a firing squad. However, props to these dudes here. You did your your country proud and with that battle we have one win to the triple entente and one win to the central powers now we move away from the western front entirely we now find ourselves on the eastern front where the germans have been relentlessly gas shelling some russian fortifications we've got gas artillery units all the way along this front line as well as infantry on the ground which has been throwing gas in towards the russians now the wind is also in the favor of the germans which means all all of that toxic gas, the chlorine and the bromine has all been floating down towards this Russian fortified position. And as you can see, it has been getting pounded by the German artillery and they've now also been gassed. And as a result, the Germans are now finally going to make a push on this Russian position and try and flush them out. Some of you may have already guessed, but yes, this is the attack of the dead men. The Germans have tried to flush these Russians out with gas, with toxic fumes. The Russians did not have gas masks, but they have used what they can. Their face is melting. They've put whatever they have around their face, and they are now going to charge half dead at the Germans. And the Germans are not prepared for the horrors they are about to see at the hands of these brave Russian soldiers. Half of them are dead, and the rest of them are dying. What else have they got to lose? Why not do one last charge in a last ditch effort to defend the fortress from the Germans. And so the battle begins and in the attack of the dead men goes. Let's see what the Germans are going to do against what might be the scariest thing a man could ever see in their life. A bunch of half dead soldiers in the trenches charging and the Russians are completely confused. They are in disarray. There's smoke clouds, gas clouds everywhere. Nobody knows what is going on. How are these Russian soldiers still alive? They are still fighting to the last man. The Germans still confused. They don't know where to aim their guns. They're aiming their guns at each other. They are slowly being picked off one by one. And with every second that passes, it looks more and more likely that the Russians are somehow going to hold onto their fortified position. But at what cost? Look how much gas is on the battlefield. The Russians have done it. But would you look, these guys do not have gas masks and they are pretty much entirely in these gas clouds. And even though they've won this battle, they are almost all certainly going to die. But there we go. 
the Russians have taken this battle, the Germans have lost two, and only won a single battle. And next up in this tab's World War I campaign, we have got one last battle to decide it all. This is the Battle of Passchendaele, and in it we are going to see the French, some good old Brits, but we're also gonna see an appearance of the Belgians, as well as some Aussies, and the Kiwis are also going to make an appearance as well as the Canadians. This is quite the battle. This is a lot of triple entente soldiers. And for the German defenders, they're gonna be throwing everything they've got. They're gonna be throwing in their mounted cavalry. They got gas cannons out front. We've once again got a bunch of machine gunners, a whole ton of riflemen all over the place. These guys are dug into a defendable position back here. Look at this guy just poking his head. No, he doesn't fancy it. He's hiding from the battle. So these guys will be able to defend far better than the triple entente. And over here, once again, same thing over here. They are going to be doing their very best to hold off the attackers. Will they be successful? This is the Battle of Passchendaele. And in this Tabs World War I campaign, this is going to be all or nothing. Whoever wins this battle wins the campaign. So let's find out who that's going to be. Already, we can see the Royal Engineers making a big old charge. Let's go. Come on, mate. I believe in you. I believe in you. Oh my God, are they actually going to get in there? No, oh, so close. So, so, so close. But this is savage. What on earth is going on over here? It looks like the central powers are not doing too badly. Most of the machine gunners are dead. The cavalry is also dead. And also the gas cannons also gone down. Over on this side here, it also looks like we're down to just the last few units. They've actually been shot over the rocks. And oh my goodness, would you look at that? It looks like the alliance of the French, the Brits, the Belgians, the Aussies, the Canadians, and the Kiwis have managed to do it. It was like a 6v1, but they still won, and a victory is a victory, and they take this campaign. But well done to those of you who made it to this point in the video without clicking away, because what you are about to see is one of the most insanely ridiculous things in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. We are going to have ourselves a World War I air battle between the Triple Entente and the Triple Alliance, and they're all going to be using these disgusting cursed biplanes. No more waiting. Let's just start the battle and see what happens. This is- they've got rockets, man. Bruh, I didn't know they had rockets. And also, I'm not sure this is how planes work. What is happening right now? There's no words to describe this. Are these guys inside each other? Why are they riding their biplanes like horses? What have we all just witnessed? I actually feel like a worse human being for having witnessed that battle. Especially considering I also made all however many thousand of you guys decided to watch this video. You're never gonna unsee this complete monstrosity. That was some totally accurate Battle Simulator World War 1 battles. If you enjoyed that and you haven't already subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Head down there, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell icon so you know when my Tabs battles go live. And if you want to see some more Tabs gameplay, there'll be a card in the top right corner of the screen which you can click on and it will take you back to that. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the continued support and growth of the channel. I will catch you again in the next Tabs Battle.